so hello everyone in this video I am going to demonstrating you uh, this little project which I have created so far and uh, one of my subscribers have uh, asked me to how you can uh, instantiate object uh, uh, whenever uh, the health of the player will be decreased or increased so uh, so uh, it this tutorial will also explain uh, uh, that part and uh, so uh, let's get started yeah uh, so let me play and uh, show you how what you are going to learn in this tutorial so when i click then uh, some uh, object uh, random objects will be uh, instantiated on the screen okay so as you can see when i have uh, uh, when i click on the screen and uh, the health bar will be decreased and uh, when i right click then the health bar will be increased so let me show you the uh, code behind this and uh, so there are two scripts um, this is not uh, uh, not important because it is just playing some animations when we are clicking on the screen uh, then it will change the idle state to the uh, get hit state uh, get hit animation that uh, animation will play uh, when we click on the player okay so this uh, this is the script which uh, uh, which have all the logic and uh, here uh, we have our player I have attached to one uh, capsule collider okay you can see here there is an animator capsule collider animation controller script and uh, the player uh, script so uh, let me show you here uh, let me show the show you the component player component so here this is the player layer so i have created a layer you can add a layer uh, by clicking on this uh, add layer okay now there is that is our camera that is our health okay now this is our list uh, that is going to be filled when we hit play uh, this is uh, just a list and this is an array so th these are our, our prefabs as uh, i created some prefabs and uh, uh, just uh, tracked here and uh, this is our health bar this is nothing just this uh, ui health bar okay uh, this is just an uh, uh, image okay these are our serializable field and this is our public uh, uh, prefab uh, array this is the image and this is the uh, animation controller script uh, so i'm using q for the uh, for uh, for uh, getting track of the uh, objects which uh, i have created first and uh, which are created uh, after those uh, objects so uh, when i click on the player so there are some objects which are instantiated on the screen so i need to uh, get track of the first object that i have created so that that's why I have used this queue I will show you what is the use of this queue uh, okay now this is our property this is our current health uh, so uh, this will call a function that will update the uh, UI health UI okay now okay now inside this awake function uh, i have done the in initialization like uh, this uh, animation controller i am getting the reference and uh, here i have assigned the health current health to the 100 percent and uh, this is our uh, for loop i have uh, uh, i'm creating 20 game objects on the screen okay when uh, i i hit play so let me show you when I click play so there so here are 20 game objects which I have created at the start of the game okay so those objects are added to the list and uh, uh, they are they are uh, they are uh, uh, deactivated at the start okay now inside update function uh, this is not important because I'm just uh, checking if I right click on the player then i can increase the health when the health is uh, less than 75 percent okay okay now on mouse down so this function is called whenever we click uh, uh, whenever we 
so this function is called whenever we click on uh, our screen okay so this uh, uh, this function will uh, gives us uh, the uh, mouse position wherever we have clicked so this will give us a, a point so uh, when we click on the screen that will give us a, a point on the screen that is in xy coordinate so so when we have clicked on the screen that is uh, xy position so it so it will give us a ray of that point okay and uh, uh, we are creating a ray from that point to the uh, to uh, 200 units uh, units from the click point okay so it will create a ray and uh, hits the player so if the uh, object we have uh, hit so far um, is the player then we can apply damage to it so inside damage function we are checking if the current health is greater than zero then we are decreasing it by 25 and instantiating uh, some random objects and uh, playing some animation okay uh, this is for uh, safety purpose only nothing else so when we instantiate object we are uh, picking picking some uh, random object from the uh, from the object pool and uh, if that uh, object is uh, uh, is active uh, that that object is active we need to find some other game object that is uh, not currently active on the hierarchy so that's why this loop is uh, uh, checking uh, if uh, we found some game object that is not uh, active in uh, other words that is inactive in the scene so we can uh, store that object inside this uh, uh, this uh, uh, game object variable okay uh, then we we uh, give the position to the uh, game object and uh, so the position is our hit point so wherever we have uh, hit the player that point and i am just giving some offset to the object which uh, i want to instantiate or uh, want to activate on the hierarchy so i am uh, giving some offset so it so it will instantiate it at the back of the player so after giving it position i'm going uh, i'm just uh, activating the object and uh, applying some force to it and uh, here i'm uh, grabbing the rigid body of that uh, game object and applying the force to it and uh, this question mark is nothing just it will uh, checks if rigid body is found then only this uh, force function is called uh, else you can skip this step okay so now here we in queue the game object that we have created so far so we we will get track of the object that uh, is uh, uh, in front of the uh, other game objects so queue what the queue will do it will uh, stores the object uh, in an uh, manner in a uh, first in first out manner so uh, a FIFA manner so wh whatever the object which I have in queued first that will be queued first okay so we are checking if the queue uh, count is greater than 10 we need to dequeue some objects from the uh, we need to dequeue the uh, first object which have we have in queued and uh, uh, and uh, uh, turn it inactive so uh, we dequeue the object and uh, we can uh, disable that object inside the game view and we are again uh, releasing this uh, reference from the uh, this object okay so here we are using uh, so this is our implementation of the object pooling so we are reusing this here okay now this health bar is nothing just update uh, we are updating the ui of the uh, player that is uh, our health bar okay so this is uh, our health increase uh, function so we are checking if our health is less than 75 we can increase it by 25 okay when we click uh, when we right click on the player okay now you can hit play so 
as you can see when I uh, left click object will be uh, displayed and when I right click then my health bar is increased So as you can see here are three three and nine so there are nine uh, nine uh, uh, prefabs that uh, are present on the screen that we have uh, instantiated okay so we are reusing them again and again so so that's it for this video I hope you liked this video and uh, uh, yes this video is uh, uh, coming too late and uh, I have uh, not uploaded any video uh, uh, for a couple of months because I have a lot of work to do so that's why I am not able to upload uh, any kind of video because uh, this is not my full job and uh, uh, when Whenever I have uh, time, I will create some kind of uh, uh, tutorial or videos, uh, whichever comes uh, in my mind. So thank you. See you in the next video. Bye bye.